welcome Sag to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition read messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright, Sag, I'm going to go ahead and spray my area so we can have a double cleanse for your channeling today. Alright, so let's go ahead and see. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person connected to Sag and Love. What can you tell me about the person connected to Sag and Love? Thank you, Spirit. Too many. Uh, you know, I saw humble. Maybe your person is humble, but let's see. Uh, what three messages do I want to come through for the person connected to Sag and Love? Thank you. So the overall energy for today is deceit and lies. So let's go ahead and see what this is about. We have damaged, impotent, and whipped. Third party. Inner child, children, childish or childhood. And patience. Wow. So... <laughs> So there's some kind of deception um, coming on from your person. Okay, Sag, I really feel like they're hurt over a third party situation. But this has something to do with maybe your person's inner child or their childhood or children involved. And it's going to require a bit of patience. So I definitely feel like your person's going through some sort of karma. Okay, so this is uh, real time or active. So let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the energy of the person connected to Sag and Love? How are they, um, well actually, let's go ahead and clarify. Clarify the energies, what's going on beneath the surface with this person connected to Sag and Love. Thank you. Clear messages, please, Spirit. So beneath the surface, we have surrender and it's in reverse. Um, I have a 
feeling that your person is a little bit rigid. Um, they have not really surrendered to whatever this situation is because of this deception. Okay. Also, uh, this is in regards to maybe a friendship. Uh, and they're being humble. So I did see that earlier on in the channeling. Also, I see here big dreams. It's in reverse. Also, we have vibration, but it came up sideways and ascending in reverse. So I have a feeling that whoever that you're dealing with, okay, this could be your twin because typically twin flame connections take a hell of a long time, right? Uh, twin flame relationships take years, okay? This ain't months, this is years. And I have a feeling that you've known this person for some time. Now, whatever the situation that they're in, they're definitely in a third party and it's dragging their vibration down. Uh, I really feel like whatever uh, they have in their environment, this could be people, places, situations. Like, I have a feeling like, Whatever it is, it's not good for their energy because I'm feeling this as I was shuffling the cards. Um, also, their dreams are shattered. They feel like they can't even pursue their dreams. You know, that's why they're feeling damaged uh, due to this third party. Maybe they're whipped, you know, um, for some, maybe they're a mama's boy or, a, you know, daddy's girl, whatever, right? And um, maybe they just can't get their stuff together. I'm just saying, and that's for some, you know, and it's all because of their childhood. That's what I'm saying. Either their childhood or they have children that is dealing with a third party. Now, the thing about your individual is that they need to learn patience. Okay, they haven't really ascended yet. So I have a feeling that they're real time going through some sort of karma. And this is something that they have to go through. So let's see. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the energy of this person that is connected to Sag and Love. How they currently think, how do they feel? What does your person want and what is the outcome? Now, for Sag, okay, maybe this is your karmic partner, you know, dealing with this third party. Whoever this person is, it's very low vibrational. Now, it could be your twin that's going through a funk, okay? Take it as it resonates, but I feel like I had to, um, call you know another scenario out because this could be about a karmic so your person is looking towards the future okay to end the situation um i really feel like they've given up like they can't do this like i i could you not like as i was shuffling the cards earlier i was feeling tired very lethargic uh, not really having a lot of energy and it's really showing up in your person's uh channeling here and yeah they really feel like they can't tell you the truth they're just holding back um whatever their truth is and they are just looking okay they don't even know what to say and yeah i really feel that either they're being emotionally manipulated by a third party and they're feeling hurt and um they can't even pursue their dreams and um more than anything your person wants to come forward towards you so like i said um i have a feeling if you're dealing with a love interest and they're actually in another commitment with a karmic partner and uh let's say that they're married right um i really feel like due to that third party um they feel damaged um they really feel like they can't really move forward towards you it's going to take a bit of time because there is a karmic lesson that they need to learn and and I see that, you know, they just feel like they don't have the energy to move forward. Like I said, I felt that, okay, as I was shuffling the cards. Um, yeah, they feel like they can't even give you much. You know, if they've been gr uh, breadcrumbing you, that's why, you know. Um, 
energetically they really feel like they can't uh do anything and maybe uh you know just only give you a, a friendship right like let's just stay friends for now and you're like what the heck <laughs> You know, also what I'm seeing here is that they have been really thinking, if you guys have been in separation, that they want union with you. And they definitely want to uh, get out of the separation now. For some, maybe it's been five years, you know. Um, maybe you've known this person for a while and you've been waiting for this person to get out of a commitment. And even to this day, they're still kind of stuck, right? The problem here is that they were sitting there complacent. I kid you not, you know, we're going through some really big uh, astrological events that is happening um, while we're in uh, this energy of Capricorn. And if we don't do anything with this energy, we're going to miss the boat. And if your person for six years have been living their humdrum life with a karmic, they're going to stay in that situation and continue to repeat their karmic cycle. Now, I've been channeling all of the fire sign readings for today, and it's very clear uh, that I'm actually seeing this. So look at this. We have your Queen of Wands. You know, for some, you know, maybe you're dealing with a fire sign. But what I'm getting here is that there is a karmic that that has expectations on your person. And they're trying to figure out how they can balance out their head over heart decision over here. You know, but their ego is getting in the way. So they're telling themselves a false narrative. You know, um, who is it that they believe? I mean... I have a feeling that your person doesn't know how to keep still. They don't know how to meditate. They don't know how to follow their intuition or their inner guidance. They just keep doing, you know, and it's almost as if it's robotic. It's like, is this person living their life or are they just, you know, settling? Because I kid you not, guys, okay? This big dreams is shattered. Are they, is this a dreamer? No, this person is you know, playing a role, but they're not living their dream. They're deceiving themselves. Why? It's because they're damaged. Maybe they can't get it up anymore. You know, there's something here that's really, you know, making them feel lack. And I have a feeling, you know, maybe it was their childhood. You know, maybe they never uh, had the chance to explore, uh, you know, just being a kid when they were growing up, feeling like they were never good enough. I really feel like whoever your person's dealing with, they're, they're dealing with someone that puts them down constantly. That's why your person is emotionally repressed. They can't really express how they feel. And maybe they've been deceiving you, telling you uh, a narrative. They haven't really let go of whatever the situation. It's like they're they're holding on. Now, for some, maybe you're done with the Libra. But what I'm getting here is that they they want to do things right. You know, I have a feeling like everything that they worked hard for they have achieved but there's still one thing that is missing and I really feel like it's you but is your person willing to break away from this third party to live out their dreams their fantasies with you I see that they want to come forward you know so this person has very hot and cold energy because I see that once they come they they fall right back and then they end up not coming towards you and I really feel that for Sag, you feel that that's frustrating. You're like, what are you in? You help. Because I'm not going to stick around, right? You're just going to keep on trucking. For some, maybe you're done with an earth sign. You know, but I really see that if your person is an earth sign or whatever the case is, I really feel like whoever you're done with, they're in a marriage or they're in some sort of a commitment. It's something that they've already established uh, before you. 
Okay, and you're just kind of wondering, is your person ever going to let go of that karmic situation so you guys could, you know, uh, so you can take them out on a vacation, right? Like, you know, whenever they're ready, you're ready to, you know, go places. But your person is, is like stuck. I get like the stuck energy, you know, not even dreaming the impossible. Really, their intuition is blocked. They're not really looking. I don't know. It's like, whatever the energy is, it's really blocked energy. That's what I keep getting. And look, this is the lies and deception. They have been grieving. They're like, you know what? They don't like staying in at their party. They know that there's love there. You know, if they were to turn around, but are, I mean, do they have it within them to turn around and just be with you? Can they just let go of the situation? No, because they're damaged goods over here. So I have a feeling that whoever you're dealing with, uh, Sag, they're a broken soul, you know, and it's going to take some time for them to really work on themselves and i don't really feel like there's anything that you can do to help them the only thing you can do is just send them words of encouragement and you know and hopefully that they get it one day right because your person is depressed i am feeling this and it is it is sad right that's what i'm getting let's see what else So your person is thinking, okay, they're looking forward towards the future. They they really want to flirt with you and be friendly, you know, because that's the extent of what this relationship can can really go through. You know, because why? We have the lovers in reverse. They are not not in alignment to have a relationship. Okay, for some, maybe you're dealing with a Gemini, you know. So how do they feel? They really feel that they need time. Now I can hear you, Sad. You're like, well, how much time do they need? You know, uh, you know, they keep thinking about the past, about third party. Now, this third party could be on your side. This could be on their side. But it, it it's somebody's third party because I definitely see that here it was one of the first cards that came out. That's why their vibration is low, you know, and it, it really hurt them. Whatever this third party situation was. OK, everyone's third party is going to be a little bit different. So um, what is it that they want? They really want to uh, address how they feel. Now, I have a feeling that they've been keeping their feelings to themselves. And, um, you know, they, they're non-expressive. You know, I think it, it takes a lot to get out of any kind of emotion out of this person. Because this person puts up a mask. And um, you don't know how they truly feel. Now, they really want to communicate to you that they have been doing a lot of thinking. But... You know, they're really blocked up. They don't even know what they want. So in the outcome, I see here the Hierophant with the Six of Swords in reverse and the Magician. Your person is thinking, you know, they do want to have a, a commitment or relationship for some. Maybe you're done with the Taurus. Again, could be Gemini energy, you know. And what I'm seeing also is that uh, they want to commit to you. They want to come back. They're trying to manifest some sort of a change. But they find themselves, you know, fighting. I don't know if this is an internal struggle. You know, it's, it has something to do with children. I have a feeling that for some, okay, your person may, makes an excuse that, I'm sorry, I can't really be with you. You know, I have kids. You know, and that's a freaking excuse. But the real reason is that they feel like they can't do it. Now, are they trying hard enough? Uh, because... You know, the mind is a very powerful thing. If your person is weak, they're going to act weak. Okay. And that's why your person is holding back. And maybe, you know, they're just acting all angry and rude towards you, especially when you bring up the kids. You know, they're they're really lying to themselves. So I have a feeling that Sag, whoever you're dealing with, they have personal issues. And I don't know what else to say, you know, other than either, you know, they can learn to really work on themselves and, you know, if they really feel like they need counseling, you know, maybe they should go for counseling because this is something that is not going to go away soon. Like this is something that they really have to focus on and really want to change to become a better person. But right now I'm seeing weak, feeling lack, 
like, you know, low vibrational, lacking motivation, not even dreaming up the big dreams, like very repressed and very like, I don't know, down and out, like depressed, like it's a depression is what I'm feeling. Let's see, what does your person want to confess? I don't know what's up, but it's only like one message, right? I've screamed and had fits of rage over our connection. Oh my God. Like, I can sense that because I'm not going to lie. When I first started this channeling, it was like a depressed, like low energy and it's showing up in this channeling. I can't make this stuff up, guys. Like, there's deception. They're deceiving themselves. And honestly, they need, like, a spiritual bath. Now, I sell bath salts on my website. I don't know if you could, like, give them a bath salt. You know, if not, you know, that's why I, I have this stuff. This is my smokeless spray, you know. And you could just, you know, spray it on the area. Uh, I mean, I could do a pendulum and clear their energy, but... Your person needs some help. That's what I see. So let's see. When your person comes through, how do they show that they love you? You know, Sag, you're going to have to be patient about this one. You know, and it's up to you. You have free will if you want to be patient. But I know, Sag, you're, you're not very patient also. <laughs> And that could be uh, the karma that you you share with this person, right? We have karaoke serenades. Maybe your person likes to sing. Man, I mean, if if they need to scream it out, like take them out to the karaoke bar and tell them to sing a song. I kid you not. Or better yet, you know, uh, why don't you like, you know, send them a birthday gift, you know, like a karaoke machine or something. I mean, just to blow off some steam. Um, but let's hope that they're a good singer. <laughs> You would be doing that person's neighbors a disservice, right? <laughs> also, we have documentaries. Scavenger Hunt. Good Listener. And I Trust You. So, your person trusts you. You know, uh, they're a good listener. They'll, they'll listen to you if you have anything to say. Uh, they're kind of like in a down mood. You know, if you have the ability to, con you know, conversate with this person, I would, you know, give them words of affirmation and kind of bring up their morale because they're feeling dumpy. That's what I'm seeing. So let's see. What is the advice?
This one was poking out. It says, am I clear on what my soul really wants? Take out the shoulds and the limitations and get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desires instead. If you knew it was impossible to fail, what would you do? Wherever you go, go with all of your heart. So today's soul action, ask yourself what is it that your soul really wants? What does your heart crave? And then take one step in that direction. Like somebody's going to have to budge. You know, this could be about you, Sag, you know, or this could be your person. Take it as it resonates. But are you clear on what your soul wants? Do you want this person that, you know, that you've been waiting on for so, some time? Are they finally going to, you know, change or, or like, you know, I don't know, like... <laughs> Obviously, somebody, uh, you know, is going through the situation because spirit is wanting me to address this. But I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares and subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope Hope y'all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.